Stanwood, live from the Miami Federal Detention Center, where Sayok is being held to explain exactly how he was arrested. Janine. Calvin Lurie, that nationwide manhunt ending right here in South Florida. DNA, fingerprints, even a cell phone leading to his arrest. In a sleeveless shirt flanked by heavily armed agents is 56-year-old Cesar Sayok of Aventura, a sometimes delivery driver who posted a lot of political opinions online, now of nationwide infamy. We will prosecute you to the fullest extent of the law. He was finally caught after a late morning takedown at this plantation auto zone. Grainy surveillance video shows the flashbang and swarm of cops. Oh, shut up, yeah, we just took him into custody. That's we want the road shut down. And then we'll start evacuating. He wasn't yelling or screaming or flailing. He was in handcuffs and he calmly was escorted to the vehicle. Since Monday, agents say Sayok perpetuated a wave of terror from coast to coast, mailing at least 14 pipe bombs in packages to high profile Democrats, an actor, a former president, all with the return label of South Florida Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz. These are not hoax devices. The FBI says the packages included photos of his intended targets, but it was a fingerprint found on one and DNA on one of the homemade devices that would do Sayok in. Late last night, we also turned to our partners in the Florida Department of Law Enforcement for confirmation of this DNA connection. Each device consisted of roughly six inches of PVC pipe, a small clock, a battery. And so acting on their leads and Sayok's own cell phone that traced him to that auto zone, law enforcement quickly surrounded his white van covered in Donald Trump and political stickers. I see FBI, I see cops, I see <laughs> everybody all over the guy. The van was towed to FBI headquarters in Miramar, backed into a secure location. <laughs> Sayok charged with five federal crimes and taken by SUV to the federal detention center in downtown Miami. So what's the next step for Sayok, Janine? So from what we understand, he will face a judge, make his first appearance right here in downtown Miami on Monday. But we also understand that he will formally face his charges in New York, Lori. Any idea at this hour, what is Sayok's connection to that auto zone and plantation? There are so many questions about that, whether he had worked there at one point, whether he had shopped there for some of those materials to be used for those devices. All afternoon, we saw FBI agents speaking with employees, gathering records. Calvin Lurie, this investigation is just beginning. And by the way, if he's convicted, Sayad faces up to 48 years in prison.